Hi, welcome to Crafting with Kathy Lee. If you watch some of my other videos, you might know that I was going to attend a four day, three night crafters retreat out in the boondocks. I did and it was so much fun. And no matter how long the retreats are, I always think I'm going to have more time than I do and that I'm going to get way more done. But along with the thing, I do a whole lot of visiting. We have like three meals a day served to us, cooked and served to us. So um, that takes a little time. I try to take a walk every couple of hours, walk at least a quarter of a mile, maybe a half mile or more, just to keep my back from stiffening up. Those of you that sit at a desk all day working or crafting, you know what I'm talking about. If you sit too long, your whole body seems to tighten up. So one of the things I did was I stamped a bunch of my Julie Nutting dolls. So I will still need to do the hair on these and to color, um, maybe add some coloring to their faces. But look at all these. This is Madeline or Madeline. Stamped a bunch of these. Some of these like these I will not color anymore on. Some of these I will add more coloring to. There's Madeline. And I have some others here. Sorry, I keep dropping my dolls. Um, here's a few more Madelines. Madeline, Madeline. These ones I probably won't color either. Okay, then I have whatever this girl's name is. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I will put it in the comments though. Some of them on those paper. And I just used a variety of the papers I have. And again, some of these I will add coloring to their skin tone. And I will color their hair. Maybe I'll paint. Maybe I'll do their legs on some of them. I have, I like paper piecing the hair sometimes. I don't dress the dolls right away because I have to know what I'm using them for in order to dress them. So, more of her. I just tried to dry, stamp quite a few on a wide variety of background papers. This one you can't see on this paper very well, but I think it'll be okay. This is little Rosie who I've been wanting for so long because she reminds me of my little honorary granddaughter, Milani. So here are some rosy ones that I'm going to finish. These are, I stamped these at the end of the night or first thing in the morning when I really didn't have any ambition left or yet. Here's our little Emmy Lou, who I absolutely adore. And I stamped a bunch of her. Most of these are stamps that I had never used before. I bought them and not used them. Here's this cute little Christmas girl again. More Emmy Lou. Oh, here's my sweet Lola. Oh, Lola, I love you. Y'all, I'll tell you a secret. I love all my Julie Nutting dolls. All of them. I'm a little bit of an addict. A Julie Nutting addict. Maybe that's why I belong to that Julie Nutting addict's Facebook group. And here is Aiden. Aiden was one I got in a stay at home kit, safe at home kit, um, from the Julie Nutting Addicts Facebook group. I think it was Misty Gross, one of the admins, sent kits, and it included this stamp. First time I've ever stamped Aiden. Aiden was my first boy stamp, and he's going to be ready to do some fun things and have some great adventures. I liked him. And then little Toby. He is the cutest ever. Little Toby's probably going to go on some cards with little Emmy Lou or Rosie. They can be playmates. Um, that's another one. You can't really see it that well on that paper, but once you add clothing and stuff and I color the hair, he'll pop. So you can see, I just kind of went wild. Since I had them inked up, I stamped a ton of each of these stamps. So I'm going to be set for a while and just have to stamp clothes or color clothing. Oh, and here's my little Clara. I think it's Clara. 
Oh boy, I should have wrote these names down. I will put them all in the comments. I'm sorry about that. She's the one that comes with the little boy stamp. Can you see how busy I was? I was just stamping like crazy. The other ladies at the retreat might have thought I had a little bit of an issue. Okay, and here's our little boy in the tire swing. Ready, ready, ready. Here's another one of our little crisscross applesauce girls. Some more of our boys. And here's our hula hoop girl. I love her. Maybe her name's... Hmm, can't remember. I'm terrible with these. I will put all of these doll names in the comments of the video. Can you even see these? Am I putting them in the right spot? Yeah. So, there we have it. More, more, more. And I didn't stamp as many of these last ones because I was tired. And you can tell by the quality of my stamping on these ones that I was tired. Alright, that's a first look and I'll be back with another video in just a bit. Thank you for visiting Crafting with